Hello students, welcome to our new podcast. So, we have Mr. Swen, uh, Assistant Professor at uh, Florida Atlantic University for the Computer Science Department. He is teaching Introduction to Artificial Intelligence for the undergraduate students at Florida Atlantic University. So, let us speak with Mr. Swen and uh, take valuable insights about the university. So, hello Swen, welcome to Global Degrees. Hello, Sirisha. Uh, thank you very much for your kind introduction. Um, and thank you for inviting me here at uh, Global Degrees. I'm happy to be here and hopefully I can answer all your questions appropriately and give insightful information to the students. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, can you please uh, tell us about Florida Atlantic University? Yes, of course. Um, Florida Atlantic University is a university situated in the city of Boca Raton and we are uh, one hour north of the city of uh, Miami. Miami is a big metropolitan city uh, with an entrepreneurial vibe and a tech industry. Uh, we are uh, situated 15 minutes away uh, from the coastline. But more importantly, quite recently, actually uh, today on uh, February 14th, we got a notification that our university has become an R1 doctoral level uh, oh. research institute. Oh, great, great. Yes, <laughs> this is uh, fantastic news for both uh, faculty and students. Oh, we are the first one then to know that news. Yes, <laughs> yes, you are. Glad, glad, glad. So, so what is R1 and uh, like as our uh, audience or our students doesn't know about it, like what is R1 and uh, uh, how is it beneficial to the students? Um, so an R1 doctoral level uh, research institute is one of the many Carnegie uh, classifications. Before we were an R2 doctoral level research institute and now we have become R1, which means that we have a very high research activity going on at our university. This means that we bring in a particular amount of uh, grant money uh, and further we have delivered a certain amount of uh, PhD students. And over the years we have delivered more and more PhD students and we have brought in more and more um, grant money. Further, uh, what does this uh, mean for the students? Well, it's always great for students to uh, graduate from an R1 um, doctoral level research institute. Employers know this. Uh, that uh, our curriculums are of high quality. And uh, further, uh, the, a large amount of grant money allows us to pay for stipends for students who pursue, uh, for example, a graduate uh, assistantship or a teaching assistantship. Oh, great. So students will get uh, uh, graduate assistantships and teaching assistantships at uh, FAU? Yes, we do offer these possibilities to the students. So if students are interested in, for example, a teaching assistantship, what they will do is they will sign up um, and then once the academic semester starts, someone uh, from the university will look at all the applicants and at the open positions uh, available for teaching assistantships. Then uh, they will look at the profiles of the students and uh, match the students with these open posi positions based on their profiles. It's very competitive. Um, but it allows the students uh, to uh, obtain uh, a stipend to cover some of their tuition uh, costs or uh, housing costs. So what are the most pro popular programs at Florida Atlantic University? Um, in recent times, uh, the most pro uh, popular programs are Masters in Computer Science, in Masters in uh, Engineering and Masters in Artificial uh, Intelligence. Uh, actually, Florida Atlantic University was the first uh, public university in Florida to offer a master's program in artificial intelligence. So how do you see a uh, job uh, demands for the next uh, upcoming five to 10 years? G uh, great question. Um, the, actually, the World Economic Forum has come together last month uh, in January of 2025. And what they do is they meet in Davos, Switzerland, uh, and they have representatives from uh, different countries around the world. And they make a prediction of how the market uh, will shift or look like uh, in the next upcoming five years. And from the report that they have uh, published, uh, we can see that uh, machine learning specialists, AI specialists, big data specialists uh, will be the fastest growing jobs uh, in the next five years. Further, uh, what we can see is that, there, um, that the government spends uh, a lot of, um, or has a lot of investment in um, artificial intelligence. Uh, we have the Chips and Science Act, uh, where companies can get loans from the government to create uh, foundries where uh, new chips will be manufactured. 
Further, we have uh, private um, endeavors happening in the United States. For example, ARM, Microsoft, uh, OpenAI, and uh, NVIDIA are teaming up to create the Stargate project. And the Stargate project um, is a $500 billion investment in artificial intelligence uh, infrastructure in the United States. So what does this mean for our students? Uh, in the upcoming years, uh, when these projects are being launched, uh, data centers will be built and this requires, uh, this will create plenty of uh, new jobs, such as uh, civil engineers to create the data centers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers for wiring, uh, of course computer scientists uh, to work on the artificial intelligence and furthermore. So I think in uh, the near future we will have uh, uh, lots of job opportunities in this sector. Okay, okay. How about the job uh, employability rate for uh, Florida Atlantic University? Uh, Florida Atlantic University prides itself with its uh, high uh, job placements. So we have the second highest employment rate uh, as a public university in Florida. So a student is almost uh, guaranteed uh, upon graduation to find a job uh, immediately after his or her graduation. So uh, what is the advice you give to the students who are planning to study abroad? Uh, I would suggest uh, that the students uh, try and complete their uh, English uh, proficiency test uh, and find uh, all their academic um, uh, documents uh, and just apply to Florida Atlantic University uh, as soon as possible because um, the deadlines uh, for the fall and the summer intake are approaching uh, very swiftly. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Sven, for uh, spending uh, time and uh, giving us the uh, valuable information. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for uh, hosting me here. Uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you, students, for watching. We'll meet in the next podcast.